in this video we will be looking for statistical functions like sum if, count if, average if and some more advanced functions like sum if, count ifs, average ifs. Let's see those one by one. On the screen if you see I have some data like name, days and numbers. These are some data which are written. On this data I will try to get a sum based on some criteria. So you can see here what is the criteria and sum. I want sum of numbers which are less than 50. So these are the numbers. I want sum of those numbers which are less than 50. So I can just write a function over here that is sum if. So I'll just type here sum if bracket open and if you see here there's a range criteria and sum range. Range is this one that's a range. Criteria is less than 50 in double quotes whereas the sum range which is given in the brackets that means it's an optional so I can ignore it right now. So I'll select here that is the range comma and in double quotes I can just write here 50 and I'll press enter. The moment I press enter I'll get the answer as which is less than 50. So 40 plus 30 plus 20 plus 10 that comes as 100. As soon as I press enter I'll get the answer as 100. Similarly I have one more criteria. I want sum of numbers which are which fall against Monday. So let's see what are the numbers. So you can see Monday 10, Monday 80 and Monday 90. Purposely I have written those and I have colored them so that it's easy to understand. Let's see how to get the answer for this. If you observe the sum is in this range and the criteria is Monday but the criteria falls in this range. So I have three parameters now that is sum range that is the criteria range and third one is criteria that is Monday. So let's go with the function. I will just keep my cursor in the cell and I will type the function as equal to sum if bracket open. If you see carefully, sum range is numbers, comma, criteria is nothing but double quotes Monday and again I have a range that is the criteria range. So I will type here, this is my criteria range, comma, in double quotes I will write down here Monday and third one is the sum range. So I will select the sum range from this option and I will press enter. The moment I press enter, I am expecting the answer as 10, 80, 90, which comes to 180. So I will get the answer as 180, right? Similarly, I have a function known as count if. Let's see that. I want count of numbers which are less than 50. So in this range, there are only four numbers which are less than 50, which is 40, 30, 20 and 10. Let's see that. So I will keep my cursor in this cell and type a function equal to count if, bracket open. It's similar to what we have seen for the sum if that is range comma criteria. So my range is this one comma and the criteria is less than 50. Enter. So the answer I'm expecting is 4 which is absolutely correct. Next I have something known as average of numbers which are less than 50. So again I'll use the same function or the same parameters but the function will be average if. So I'll type equal to average if that is the range comma criteria. So I'll select the range if you see here that's the range comma criteria and the criteria I'll write here less than 50 and I'll press enter. So average is less than 50 is 100 divided by 4. So I've got the answer as 25. You can see here 25. I'll give you some other method which will be same function but it will be easy to understand. Right now if I want to change the criteria which is less than 50 it is difficult. So what I'll do is I'll try to fetch this numbers less than 50 from some other cell. Let's say from this cell. So if I change the criteria in this cell, the answer will be changed. So let's see that function. So I'll write here a function as less than 40. Less than 50. And here I'll type a function equal to average if. That is the range. So I'll select the range, put a comma and my criteria is in this cell. So and I'll press enter. So let's see what is less than 50. I've got the answer as 25. Now if I go and change this to less than 80 and I'll press enter. So I've changed the criteria here but the answer is changed in this cell. So this way it is more beneficial to fetch the criteria or giving a name to a range. So that way it will be more be uh, beneficial. Next topic which you have is advanced sum ifs count if and average if. Let's see that one by one. What is that it basically is if you have criteria which is more than one that time you have to use this functions sum ifs, count ifs and average ifs. Let's see that. 
So on the right hand side, I've written some data. If you see on the screen, the same data which I've written, but now the criteria is advanced, which is changed now. Early the criteria was only Monday, but I've added some more criteria. Let's see what is that. I want sum of numbers belonging to Monday and John. In that formula, it was only Monday, but now it is as Monday and John. So the criteria is Monday in this column. John criteria is in this column. Okay, and I want some of these numbers. So you can understand how complex the formula will become. Let's see here. So I'll type a function, same, sum ifs, but it is sum ifs with multiple condition. So I'll try to explain you. That is my sum range, criteria range one, criteria one, criteria range two, and criteria 2. So let's see now. So I'll type here equal to sum ifs bracket open. First one it says as sum range. So I'll select this sum range comma. First one again it says as criteria range. So I'll select this criteria. This is my first criteria range comma and I'll put here Monday. Either I can type using double quotes Monday or else I can just select the text from here itself. It's one and the same. Next one is comma. Again, it says criteria range 2, which is this range. So criteria range 2, I'll put a comma and criteria range 2, I'll select here. And next is once I put comma, it will ask me again criteria 2. So I'll put a comma and I'll select this area. So now I'm expecting answer those numbers which fall against John and Monday that is 10 John and Monday that is 90 so total answer I'm expecting is 100 so I'll just close the bracket and enter so you can see the answer as 100 so this way you can find out the sum if for multiple criteria. next we have the count if function that is let's see what we have now I want count of those numbers in which I have the common criteria that is John and Monday so I have John and Monday once, John and Monday twice. So I have two numbers. So how do we, how do I calculate that count ifs using that? So I'll use equal to count ifs bracket open. Now if you see, it is asking me for criteria range one, comma criteria one, comma criteria range two, criteria two. So right now I have criteria range one is this criteria range one, comma. And what is my criteria in this column? That is Monday. So I'll select Monday. You can see it is selected comma and it's asking for criteria range 2 so I'll select here range 2 comma in that range I'm looking for John so where is the John here it is here so right now it will throw me an answer that there are two times where both of them have occurred so I'll just close the bracket and press enter now you see the answer which is displayed here as 2 okay so you can keep on adding multiple conditions till n number of times so criteria range 10 20 30 as many as you require Similarly, I have one more function here, average of numbers belonging to Monday and John. So there are Monday and John belongs to 10, Monday, John, 90. So I want their average. Let's verbally calculate 10 plus 90, 100 divided by 2. The average should be 50. So how do I calculate using a function? It's a very small table, so I can verbally calculate. Imagine the data is very huge. So that time I have to use this function. So equal to average ifs and it will ask me for average range to calculate an average I need to select this range that is average range comma it will ask me what is your first criteria range so my first criteria range is this option that is my first criteria range comma in that range what is my exact criteria so that is my exact criteria that is Monday comma again it will ask me for the second criteria range and second criteria so I'll put a comma, select the second criteria range and put a comma and that is my second criteria and that's it. So once I press enter, I'm expecting the answer as 50. Always remember here. Yeah, the answer is 50, which is absolutely correct. So this way you can use sum ifs, count ifs and averages. So in this video, we have seen all the advanced statistical functions, sum ifs, count ifs and averages. That's all.